first of all, congratulations for you for that. Yeah, good. You know, winning all Ireland is a is a good moment in someone's life, and um, just sort of was happening down there. And um, so yeah, look, we're a happy bunch this evening, and um, to get to third all Ireland um, in four years. And um, any all Ireland really is, is a special special moment for for a team. Um, and th this year's is no different. You get to share with your brother, of course, which is extra special. Yeah, look, we're we're a very close group, and um, every every member of that panel and the backroom team, as as John has referenced, and. Um, but yeah, to, to play with Dan is definitely a, a special moment. Um, we probably don't realise it as much. Um, it's more so the family get more excited, I think, for the games and about it than we do, or, and, and the club of Anne, you know, everyone involved. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a nice moment, and when we look back on with it with a lot of pride, I'm, I'm sure, in the future. Of course, not really an question, but if you any word about the man sitting next to him, the simplicity he's brought you to? And um, probably don't want to fill his head yet. I hope he stays around for a few more years. Um, but yeah, look, I suppose my, my first year involved with Jan was, was 2015, and we had a successful year that year with the, with the 21s. And um, obviously delighted that he, that, he, that he got the senior role then. And, you know, I suppose it's, it's, it's been a good time since. You could stop um, <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, and let's, just, let's just hope it continues, I suppose. Tom, a lot of people were feeling he could easily even go over the corner of this year. Um, no, geez, I wouldn't say we use it. Um, you know, we lost that day. We weren't good enough. Um, you know, it was just you know, yeah, we did we did look back on it and, and we assessed it. But no different to any game, whether we win, lose, or draw, we go back and we assess it. And you know, we look for improvements. Um, and that's all we did with that 2019 semi final. You know, we look back, assess it, look for improvements, and you know, I think that's what we did. Um, but no, it wouldn't have been a driving motivation or anything like that. Looking back at it. Um, but yeah, it's just that's I suppose the nature that we have in, in the group is just constant improvement, and, and and that's all we took from that semi final loss. So you keep that over again, not like that. I think I, I said it there that constant improvement. You're going to be hungry if you always want to improve, and um, you know there's always additions to a panel and people chasing your spot, um, and yeah, I think it's that desire to be, you know, better hurler, better athlete. You can always improve in so many different facets of of your game, you know, off the pitch and on the pitch. Um, whether it be sleep, whether it be nutrition, you know, athletically in the gym, you know, your hurling ability, um, you know, and it's just that desire to be better, I suppose, um, you know, and I suppose keep your place on the team. You have you have to have that desire to get better, um, because if you're not moving forward, you will be passed out. Um, what's it like playing in a team that takes a group like that that you always take the first half? And sorry, I didn't hear you. What's, what's it like playing in a team that takes that group that you always got the first half? Um. Yeah, look, um, yeah, well, well, when we get going, I suppose once we get into a game, I think maybe maybe we can be hard to stop. And we got into a good flow, and I think we, we just maybe got scores that are easier to come by. But, you know, we just we pride ourselves on our work rate, and you know that's probably first and foremost. And you know the hurling follows from then. Um, you know, yeah, I, I, not really more to add to that question. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't say we have an edge. Um, but yeah, we go we go after tackles. Um, you know, if we were smaller than our opposition, we go we go after tackles as well. Um, you know, that's just I suppose just part of what we want to do. And you know, you're you're not going to get on the team unless you're unless you're willing to work for the team. You know, it's a huge thing we pride ourselves on. Um, you know, the team has to come first, and you know you have to going to be willing to work and, and put in the hard yards. You know, it's not it's not just all about getting easy ball and scoring, you know, you're gonna to have to put in a big shift if you wanna be on that pitch and get a number one to fifteen jersey on our team. Join the R Game Supporters Club at Patreon for five euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football show and much more exclusive material.